hey, I'm going to give you eight architecturally styled homes that you will find around Charleston when you are house hunting. house hunting, looking at neighborhoods, looking at style of homes, you probably will see some of the homes are similar to what you would find in downtown Charleston. Some of them are just like a replica or maybe an inspired design of a home that is actually built in downtown Charleston. You will find homes like that all around Charleston and the surrounding areas. Because a lot of times buyers will move here to Charleston and try to find similar homes to what they are used to in their particular state. But a lot of the builders that build all over in different areas and different states will come to Charleston and adapt a style of home that is familiar to our area. So a lot of the new construction homes are inspired by some of the homes that you will find in downtown Charleston, some of the historical homes. So I'm going to give you eight of my top choices of the homes that you will find around Charleston when you are out shopping for your dream home. So number eight is the Georgian style. Now the Georgian style dates back, start beginning in the 1774 to about 1820. So the Georgian style featured a rough face limestone trim, stone arches, and granite pedestals in the front doors. This elegant style is symmetrically designed with decorative molding and cornice embellishing entry and commonly has two-story porches. Now Drayton Hall, West Ashley on Ashley River Road is an example of this style of home. Definitely check out Drayton Hall because it has never been restored and it will make a great opportunity for you to see original materials and architect from the 18th century. So definitely check out Drayton Hall because it has never been restored and it is a great opportunity for you to see original material and architecture and also check out a building from the 18th century. Next up is the federal style. Growing out the Italian Renaissance trend, the federal style became popular throughout the colonies after the American Revolutionary War and it was dormanted until about 1820. These buildings are typically designed around a central floor plan with heavy classical elements detailing the interior. You will find elaborate elliptical fan lights above, grand peladin windows, an oval shaped room gives a federal features its distinctively classic look. Explore the Nathaniel Russell home on Meeting Street and take a peek inside of a prime example of an antebellum trove full with antiques, artifacts, and historical heirlooms. Next up is the Greek Revival, an organization established to provide aid for Irish immigrants. The Hiberian Society Gathering Spot happens to be a quintessential model of a Greek Revival architect. Six massive iconic columns support a pediment decorated with medallion style cornice and an arch window. Stepping into the Hiberian Hall, visitors are led into a large stair hall centered by an open rotunda covered by a dome held by three different style columns, all Greek influenced. Now this is located on Meeting Street at 105. This 1840s stately establishment and its classic ornamentation are hard to not take notice of. Next up is the Gothic Revival. From about 1840 to 1880, Gothic Revival architectural style dominated, drawing its inspiration from the medieval era. Romantic and picturesque castle-like towers, parapets, and pointed arch windows are most identifiable on these structures. Elongated virtual facade with steeply pitched roofs decorated by intricate fur boards transport due to a different time. Gothic revival in Charleston manifested itself in different forms. From the Citadel to the Old City Jail, this architectural style continues to captivate the Holy City. Number five, the Italianate style. 
Inspired by the traditional Italian villas, the Italianate style was prominent from 1837 to 1900. Masonry, stone, and stucco are typical facades found on this distinctive architectural style. Tall, slim arched windows are paired with decorative crown and cornice elements. Often recognized are square cupolas adorning the low-pitched hip roofs, wide overhanging emphatic eaves supported by gorbals are defining characteristics from the romantic style. The colonial John Sydney, the Ash House located at 26 South Battery Street was construction in 1853 and excludes sophisticated Italianate architecture. Number six, Queen Anne. Multiple gable roof lines, wraparound porches, delicate spindle work, trimmings, and bay windows are all defining features of Queen Anne architecture. From 1880 to 1916, these interestingly elaborate and eccentric design appears in Charleston with textural variations, plans and tins to feature rich, bold paint colors. A stunning example of a Queen Anne architecture is the Wilson Satoli House, located at 11 College Street. Now owned by the College of Charleston, this house showcased the ornate and unique nature of the Charleston architecture. Next up, Art Deco. The Riviera Theater, located at 130 Meter Street, is a Charleston example of the iconic Art Deco style that started in the 1920s. Combining modernist style with rich materials, Art Deco eclectic style was influenced by geometric forms of cubism. Art Deco is not a particular style, but rather a collection of various styles that was in reaction against Art Nouveau in Europe, featuring sleek, modern material of smooth facing stone terracotta, steel, aluminum, and glass. This style was seen as financially particular and endured throughout the depression due to simplicity of its design. After being purchased by Belmont Charleston Place in 1997, the Riviera Theater underwent a $4 million restoration that preserved 90% of its original interior. Now, before I get to number one, tell me what style is your favorite so far? Or did I leave out a style that you felt should be on this list? Please comment and let me know what your thoughts are. What is your favorite style? I'd love to hear from you. Well, last but not least, and number one style of home here in Charleston, South Carolina, is the Charleston Single, a unique and vernacular form of house. The Charleston Single style home is not a singular style and can be made up of any material. Taking into consideration of limited space in the peninsula, these one-room style structures took up very little space. Typically, front face and piazzas, a double height porch, are added to the house as means for more airflow. The oldest documented Charleston single dates back to the 1730s, but these recognizable houses can still be found on particular every street in Charleston. So tell me, what is your favorite? As I talked about these different style of homes. These are definitely historical homes, but you will find these styles all throughout Charleston, Somerville, Johns Island, all of the surrounding areas. Because like I said, a lot of the new construction builders, they took these style homes and made them into today's style homes that will function for a modern family. So when you go through these neighborhoods, you will see similarities in the homes that I just mentioned all throughout the community. So tell me, what is your favorite? What style home would you consider if you're moving to Charleston and looking to buy a home? Well, I'm Carmela Renee, and I am a licensed a South Carolina real estate agent born and raised right here in Charleston, South Carolina. So yes, I can appreciate all of these homes that I just mentioned here in this video. But I love bringing you helpful tips and fun facts about my home state, South Carolina. So let me know if you have any questions about buying, selling, or investing here in this area. I'd love to have a conversation with you. Remember, 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I put out videos once a week. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you are notified when a new video is dropped. Well, again, thank you for watching.